everybody. Welcome to Cred Campaign. Cthulhu rises, everybody dances. Oh, uh, no, no, everyone dies. I apologize. Although uh, it is known that Cthulhu likes to throw down every once in a while. I don't know if you guys know that. <clears throat> Expect really? Yeah, no. It's the, the tentacles. He does the wave really good. It's like the best wave you've ever seen. You know, you go to a sports stadium, maybe the best in Red Sox, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, uh, you just see them do the wave, you know, sweet Caroline, ba ba ba. Cthulhu loves it. That's all I got, folks. Are you ready to go? I guess so. No, I'm, I'm go. kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, this is a very special episode of Cred Tonight. Uh, as you can tell, we are a player short which means I get to murder that person. Um, I'm also coming in from a very long vacation where I spent the entire day driving with two screaming kids in the back of my van. So I don't know what's going on, and I'm most likely going to agree to everything the players request of me today or kill them in their attempts to do so. Uh, but before I begin, let's go ahead and introduce the players that are here. Uh, starting with our very own mini pater, Carol. Wow, you're gonna start with me? Wow, all right. So, hi everyone. My name is my real name is Carol. I am a longtime gamer, occasional GM, and a commission mini painter who is about to start her own stream. I'm gonna actually be doing a mini painting stream on Saturdays and Mondays right now, Saturdays at 12 30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, for probably about two hours and one on Monday nights at uh, six o'clock until about eight for now. Uh, and that starts this Saturday. I'm so excited. But uh, as for enough about that stream, as for the stream, which I'm totally excited to play, I can't wait. Uh, I'm playing Anja Jaeger, my half elven ranger with one hit point. Yeah, that's fine. That's that's fine. All right. First is the worst. Second is the best. Uh, DJ, Brand, feel free to introduce yourself. Oh, I am DJ, gamer, and I am playing Brand, the uh, monk, way of mercy, follower of the Raven Queen, and I have some work to do in a moment. <laughs> As surely as it comes. And finally, you guessed it, third with the hairiest chest. That's not a beard on his face. That's just the overflow <laughs> from the shirt just fixing <laughs> around his neck. Ernie, why don't you introduce yourself? Yeah, so uh, thanks for that intro, Kyle. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my name is Ernie, and I'm playing Riley the Warlock. And uh, right now, Riley has agreed that we should go and rescue Jeremiah so uh, I'm just supporting the group right now with uh, max hit points. I don't know how that happened, but I'm ready to go. <laughs> Gosh. Man, you guys are ready to go. I don't get the vamp or anything. I was going to tell this story. I went to Gatlinburg this past four days, and we got to go hiking on trails and everything. And right now it is, you know, rutting season, baby having season. And so, you know, there's baby deer all about. There's there's the cicadas, which are awful, but delicious if you cook them right. What? Uh, uh, and even hiking up the, bay, uh, the trails, we actually got to see uh, uh, a pair of baby bears that were just kind of tumbling down the trail and into the woods. It was absolutely adorable. But, you know, you had to stop because, you know, bear moms are very ferocious. And so it's like, eh back away and then i thought to myself what would my party do and so i ran ahead and i killed that mama bear and i left those two baby cubs orphans <laughs> threw the body right at their face yeah that went. figures <laughs> so, so to recap a little bit after you killed the uh those craw bears uh oh gosh you guys woke up from a night of uh, terrible, awful mutiny where you were only able to capture one of them, Nebby the Cook, thanks to the uh, amazing uh, handiwork of one Bran Monk. Uh, and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Jeez, the attempted murder by Riley, who felt so betrayed by her for some reason, whether he remembers it or not. <laughs> and I so don't last think he does. Session, I don't think he remembers. We went over it. A no, no, bit. no. I, I definitely remember <laughs> our time together in the kitchen as she taught me the ways of the potato. Um, I definitely remember that we had a we had a lot of bonding. And then uh, there were some blackouts between there and here and. Then I wake up to her mutineering. Terrible, terrible business. And so Riley and the rest of the parties dealt with some blank memories. Bran is dealing with a very fishy situation himself. Uh, (laughs) I would say that you came away completely unscarred, uh, Anja, except for, you know, fearful dream the other night yeah about that i wonder why i I, i've been sitting here pondering why i'm the only one who doesn't seem to have any weird at least uh has skin conditions or memory issues well and really your second best because cleo comes out on top because her uh babysitting bodyguard is missing Wait, actually, she didn't really have any skin conditions or anything like that, did she? Exactly. She okay, yeah. She probably actually is the best one out She's of us right now. She's best set off. She's ready to go to Farzine, deliver the package, chase down the mutineers. All Who right, so if she Jeremiah? started getting scales, how many dread points do you think that would be? <laughs> oh, she How did? much could she cover up? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> if she started to get scales. Oh, my God! <laughs> It's a, the new fashion, and that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. She's got the blonde hair. She could cover some of it off until it started falling out. Although that's making presumptions. Uh, and as far as you know, Bran has all of his hair. I don't know. He's got the, he never takes that mask off that we've seen, I think. Mm-hmm. I think I saw it might have caught you once from your back, from the back of your head, but because you did have it off. But I don't think I don't think I made a perception check to see your face or something like that. This is true. You did. Uh, Kyle. Yes. I have a uh, question for you. I have an answer for you. <sighs> the baby bear cubs. Oh. There are two of them. Yes. How big and dangerous do they look? They are fairly young. To the point of they probably are still weaning. Mm-hmm. Maybe a little bit bigger than that, I would say. Do I believe they can survive on their own? Make a nature check, please. Are we going to be the party with the two uh, crab bears? That's up to you. I have no intention of taking them with us. <laughs> well, you, you don't want to raise them as our mounts? No. Well, I'm 16. glad because this was going to be a thing. Uh, you would say they probably have a 50 50 shot. Okay. Maybe then I do not need to give them better. mercy. Then yeah. I do not need to give them mercy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, at the moment, they seemed uh, fairly fairly frightened of the situation that had just happened um and even you know as they try and crawl over each other bran you have a wonderful perception and i will say yet you notice as one kind of claws over the other the claws just remove this chunk of hair and you start to see scales on the baby bears kind of start to show up Now, but the they're scaling. terrified of you. Yeah, the scaling. That's clearly not natural, right? Or is that part of their natural aspect? Huh? The scales. Yeah, I know yeah, the no, no, shell no. is their natural aspect. The proudest shell is their natural aspect. I would say think. with a 16, you know that the size of bears they are, that they're you know out of that stage and that they have that chance of survival. Carol, um, Bears are natural through the forests. Yeah. 
Go ahead and make a nature check for me, and go ahead and Oops. use your forest know-how. I actually have to grab my dice tray. I have dice. Oh tray. my gosh! Come but, on, Carol. Well, we got the show. We, go. we are professionals. Come on. See, look, I got plenty oh, of dice. Oh wow! But we're professionals. I don't think we're professionals. I, I well, get, I'm getting I get... paid for this. Um, what? In love and adoration for my. Fans. Okay, that's fair. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna pick this die to use. It's a nature check. Mm -hmm. You get bad. the whatever you get from your um, terrain bonuses. By the way, uh, what the hell was that? Was that W? It's W proficiency, right? I believe. So my proficiency is it's two. So to double that, I think it's W proficiency. I guess I should look it up, huh? <laughs> uh. Where's the terrain, 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 terrain. Oh, yeah, so I would get an additional two points. So go. nature's three plus two is vanilla. That's five. So that's 18 with the 13 on the die. 18. Okay. You have never heard of any <laughs> bears with scales on them. Uh, no, this is not natural. And... I'd say with uh, your other chosen chosen enemies, this is it kind of has that feeling about them, even though they're not say pure aberration. Just that now the, he was checking the baby bears, right? He was checking on the baby bears, yes. The dead mama uh, mom and dad, is it both mom and dad? Both mom and dad, you would assume. Uh, do they have scales on them? Well, they I'll have scales. It. They have the shells, the bifurcated uh, jaws. Do and I think bears? I mean, do I think that they're natural at all? Or is this something weird going on with them, too? This would be age settling in, you one would assume. Because I've never heard of a. And I would say. I would say all three of you, if she makes you aware of, yeah, like, I this will. isn't a natural bear or a magically made bear. <laughs> this is something wrong. You guys could kind of put together that. I, I find it quite interesting. I want to go mm -hmm. and retrieve some of the, the scales. Uh, just to samples. To sure. share them maybe to my scales. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do have this huge hunk shell there, and then, of course, uh, hardened shells from the pincer claws themselves. But if you kind of look around the feet, you can manage to fish off and flake off some scales on there. And oh, they yeah. are pretty difficult. I'm keeping those. So that takes a little bit of time. That's um, fine. I'm resting because I'm a friggin' one hit point. <laughs> I'm having fun saying I'm Andre with the one hit point. <laughs> huh? I like a challenge. I'm just sitting there, actually, uh, yeah. sort of looking around and just, but ow, ow, ow. Earlier, I got it was a, what the hell do we call them? A craw bears chew toy. Craw bear. Cra two craw bears chew toy. I will look around the den to see if there's anything else in this area. Uh, go ahead and make an investigation. Unless you're just doing a general look about, in which case, it looks like a bear den. Yeah, I rolled um, a four. A little bit more it. sand. I rolled a four. <laughs> I rolled a one, so. There you go. Typical bear den, maybe a little bit more sand in there. Um, just kind of broken up rocks where the uh, uh, craw bears could actually kind of blend in as boulders. Yeah, mostly um, I was looking to see if there was any type of bones and if the bones were humanoid or just other animal. You know, there Jeremiah shaped bones. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing that fresh. Well, even in general, like if you know, hey, look, there's a couple skeletons of like people. Yeah. There are. Uh, two or. There are 
two humanoid skeleton looking features um, with your medicine check. If you were to take the time, the bears are a bit distracting. Um, they are uh, half sized as if maybe a little bit easier prey than something a little bit larger, perhaps. Mm. Um, and then it's various uh, monkeys, bird skulls, um, fish in there too. Um, well-rounded, but I mean, if you really want to dig into what they were eating, a bear does shit in a cave. <laughs> hey, it's a poop quest. So when you say those were half-sized skeletons, are you saying like children or gnomes or something like that? Potentially. Cool. Yeah, you can just, make a medicine check sure. if you want. Oh, sure. Why not? Yeah. Not proficient. That was a nat one. Oh. Children. Definitely Ch children. Children. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm taking note of that. <clears throat> With claws at the end of their fingertips, too. Oh. Really vicious children. Very vicious children. Children of the corn, some would say. <sighs> so, uh, I'm going to assume most of us I think pretty much all of us want to take a short rest. Sure. Yeah. Oh, yes. That would um, be wonderful. The question right is, do now. we want to do it here or do we want to leave the cave area first? Well, we know there are no threats in this cave. Particularly, um, I know what you're saying. We don't know what might crawl I mean, into the cave. I'm sorry. I meant in this area of the cave. But, I mean, I guess we could go outside. I mean, I think this is better than being outside where anyone can attack from any direction. That's true right. too. This is yeah, it's true. It's. I mean, I I think this is cool. And doesn't Cleo have a have something, a spell, for this? I'm just guessing. For healing. <laughs> well, a short rest we can heal. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about like defense. I know that she had spiritual weapon. I didn't know if she picked up anything else that would uh, be good in defending our little camp. No, 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 she wouldn't. Uh, she's currently actually playing with the bears right now. While uh, they were terrified, she's been slowly approaching them. Cool. Um, and so, I, guess, I guess I'll keep watch because I'm feeling fine. All right. I did my job and I did it well. Hmm. Okay. All right. So you guys take your short rest. Time passes. Uh, Caitlin, Cleo, is, um, like I said, she's entertaining the bears and she's telling them stories about how she has uh, 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 other bear friends, kind of like you guys, who that she, uh, she wanted to keep one as a pet and its mom got angry and it tore through the town. Um, oh, no. Oh, yeah, and anyone who's from Arulkatan probably has a general idea about when the owlbears came to town and started wrecking shop. That, that was you? <laughs> um, time passes, though, quite uneventfully at the moment, though. Yay, so we get our Smell hour. of fish, greasy, really greasy fish. Starts to permeate the air a little bit from the crawbears' corpses, but you guys get whatever you get back from your short rest, including key points. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see. I'm gonna roll some hit dice here mm -hmm. to get myself out of freaking death's door. D tens. Okay. All right. So that's uh, D ten. That's, that's ten. One. I'm probably going to use all my hit dice for this. Oh, that was bad. And. Oh, wow. I rolled a one and a two on the last friggin' roll. So. Uh, I blow all my hit dice. So I can't do this again. And I'm at like. I'm down, I'm at 19 out 
just so people know. 19 out of 30. Uh, since Cleo is not here tonight, she will cast many magical spells. Does anyone else have any uh, uh, oh, any uh, injuries? Nope. Well, I did, but I just healed it up under a short rest with one hit die. Okay. All right. You get 11. That will do it. Okay. That's all. Actually, that will bring me to full. Exactly. And I think she used one of those. She is not keeping track of her spell slots. All right. Okay. After that, you are well rested. What would you like to do? Keep on trekking down the... uh, Pick some other uh, entrances. Okay. You said we heard some more scurrying somewhere else. I believe that was where we were go- wait, intending to go, correct, gentlemen? That, that was a uh, tunnel two right next to this one. There was two tunnels that had the yeah. noises. Yeah, so we we're going to check they out. They came together the, the to the one. bear den. Oh, okay. Oh, so okay. This is the... oh, Got so it. Now two there, it's... two that came together. So you are down to three tunnels left. Uh, give me a survival check, Carol. Anja. Right. Anja. 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 I have no clue. Oh, that would you roll? That's a five, which is a nat one. Okay. I have no clue. Yeah, ones. I can't see nothing. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, this The porous rock from this lava tube just really gives you no signs of any passerbys, and it's really dumb luck at this point. All right, then. Do we hear any... Do we hear any sounds from any of the the caves that were... You know, any of the three passageways that we haven't checked out? I'm listening to see if I hear anything. I guess I can make a perception check? Yeah. Maybe? Anyone who wants to join in can as well. Yeah. That's not much. Well, that's a seven, not a one. Uh, another one. That would be. <laughs> that's an eleven. Dirty twenty. Oh, Pretty sure 20. this is going to be a party wipe today. We're rolling great again. I can hear Frank saying they never roll eleven. They thing. really don't. They're dying today. It's so damn dread saves that you guys save them for all those good rolls. Uh, no, you do not hear any sounds coming from either of these three tunnels. Uh, I mean, I guess that means that Jeremiah could be unconscious down there. I don't know. Which one? One, two, or three? We'll we'll cut down to one, two, three. Let's just do it in order. Let's go down one now. (laughs) Okay. Which the let we'll go left to right. Yeah, left Left to right. right. Sounds good. Uh, You go down this tunnel. It goes down a little bit to the left. To the left again, the left, down some left. more, to the right. Uh, and at some point, uh, those with a good perception, passive perception, 15 or higher, you notice that with all the turns you're making, you should really be doubling back on your cells. And you're not. You're not changing elevation. You're not going far enough to. And water drips of stalagmites and stalactites. Every once in a while, they just kind of spin in the room like you turn the corner and they're as they should be. And then you turn the corner and they're on the sides of the wall instead. What the Oh, this. I'm thinking are they this island horizontally? is They are. If that you is take gra- the time to watch, yeah, they do drip from right to left. I but take we feel no pull. Yeah, as you say, gravity. I want to take like I take before we enter. I want to take something and just kind of toss it and see which way it goes. Is gravity? screwed up here or is it just the slide mites and tights bounces on the ground in front of you 
does it appear that we've um, seen the same areas over and over again? No. Just a different rotation? No. Um, Not yet. I, I cast Detect Magic. Give me a dread saving throw, please. <laughs> yes, uh, you dread like save. it though. You Yog, love Yog it. Sothry, or... Oh no, this is a wisdom save. Wisdom save. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nineteen. Nineteen. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, just the simple physics of this, and this isn't just magic that you've encountered ever before. It is otherworldly. Reality is bending and being shaped by something. But, you know, even only the most powerful of archmages are capable of doing that. And even then, there's a price to it. Why is it a cave? This is amazing. I'm taking notes. Mm -hmm. I'm taking notes too. This is weird. This is really, really, really strange. So I I didn't see an item casting this magic? No. It's just this aura. Got it. And you're actually in it too. Oh, oh. Nice. Mm -hmm. Do we, or I should say, do I feel any different? Hmm. Yes and no. There's this sense of familiarity like something in your blood is singing to this feeling to this sight but it's not a strong one maybe you feel a little bit of a pulse or just a itch in your arm I continue on do so you walk through you go down at one point it goes straight down but the calf is still there and this time if you try to climb down the gravity does indeed shift for you And as you try to climb down, you find yourself just falling flat onto this new surface. So this is, so we proceed further in and the gravity does change. In one case, yes. This is just weird. At that point, I would like to look around to see if there was any other recent uh, scuffling. Uh, or scuffles uh, from movement, people being dragged, things like that at the at that point. Make a survival check, please. Nine. <laughs> yeah, you fall over um, and you're like, oh, you take a look around. Yeah. Something has disturbed the dust in this area. You know, you stand up, you brush the dust off your cloaks, robes. Something has disturbed the dust. I'm sorry. Is it us? On that one. Is it (laughs) us? Would you like to make a survival check to help him out? Yeah, sure. (laughs) No, I think I figured this one out. (laughs) I think we're, well, I mean, we're not making the desk. Okay, well, that's a 13. It's a little better than him. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, Bran has definitely disturbed the dust in this place. Yeah, so nothing else has? Not that you can tell. 
What the hell? Where Do we see hell any markings? Cave drawings, depictions, anything unnatural. You haven't... Well, <laughs> have I seen anything unnatural in this cave that shifts reality? Human made. Anything Human else? Made. Anything else? Okay. From an anthropological uh, perspective, no. Nothing yet. Where in the hell is he? I mean, I guess how many more things if we, we keep going or we go back out and because I don't think he's been through here. <laughs> should we go back out or should we keep going? If you don't think he's been through here, then we should probably double back. The only people disturbing this dust are us, from what I can gather. What if they're only able to change reality in one area. What if we split up? <laughs> no. <laughs> Splitting up is an awful idea. I know. I would have died <laughs> if we split up. And I'm the tough one. Well, actually, that's not true. I believe Brand is also probably equally as tough as me. I think maybe... I mean, I would like to. I'd like to come home, but I really want to find Jeremiah, and I don't think he's come through here. Then let us double back. Okay, so we go back, and we'll take pathway number two. Well, hold on, you got to get back first. Oh well, fine. <laughs> no, you uh, make it back all right. Although the rooms, the hall, the caverns—I shouldn't say rooms. These are all naturally made except for the worn path on the floor there um which is true of all these caverns are slightly different and at one point um you turn a corner i'm going to say either bran or who's in the lead uh, I'm I, i'm in the lead yeah i mean i would be the one tracking too so okay anja you turn the corner and you see the back end of Cleo as she turns a corner. Oh, Except no. she's on the side of the room walking around. Carol hates these type of places. And you continue walking through to maybe you run a little bit to go check in. You turn. She's not there. But she is behind you. Oh my god. If it is, it, it, as long as if I go forward, I don't bump into something from behind. I'm go, I'll, I'll be okay. And uh, in a short amount of time after that, you find yourself back into the main cavern. Uh, the day has passed significantly. You got here maybe early in the morning. You had your rest, a little bit to eat. You went in you could have sworn it was maybe half an hour, maybe a little bit longer. When you come out, it's getting much closer. More time has passed. The hell? So we were able to get out. You were able to get out. Next let tunnel. Us, yes, let us go quickly. Something is definitely wrong with this place. Okay. All right, there you go. Down this tunnel, um, you go for a little ways. Nothing unusual. Anja, enough time has passed. I think you can give me another survival check. Sure. Well, I mean, it's, it's not an at one, but it's not great either. What the hell is my survival? Uh, and we're not in the woods, so that's only a 10. <laughs> hey, what do you want? I mean... No, 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 that's I'll fine. Pick and that more, actually... I'll pick a different die if I have to friggin... Gosh, why'd you choose four, Sanja? Clearly you should be doing K. I know, uh... right? But then I think there's going to be a lot of fours, so... <laughs> <laughs> um, you see tracks of a creature... A little bit smaller than those bear cubs. 
uh, and a lot of repeating light punctures in the ground other than, say, from the uh, porous rock itself. And a small creature has been here ahead of you. Uh, how long, you can't necessarily tell, but something is ahead of you. All right, let's follow, I guess. Okay. Are you going on as is, or are you going to be a little bit stealthier about it? Let's be Me quiet. Me and my great, my great stealth. Let's be quiet. I will absolutely try to be stealthy with its in all of its disadvantage on my rolls here. But I will try. 18, 18 stealth. Good. You're good. With my dice rolls, this is going <laughs> to be terrible, quiet. man. Yep. Yep, absolutely. That's a six. <laughs> Although that's not bad considering that was only a two on the die. I got plus four, so it's not terrible. Yeah. So you guys are walking forward. I saw that, right? Don't worry. Did he roll a one? <laughs> no. A five. Well, okay. I rolled a two. <laughs> there you go. That's better. Oh, God. That. We both rolled twos. I guess I just have a better dex than you. <laughs> Makes sense. So you go forward um, every once in a while, you know, you go down to look at these tracks, get back up, continue walking, silent as the grave is brand behind you. Uh, but dumb, dumb, Raven Queen. Uh, and of course, uh, Riley behind taking notes as he does on this brand new stone, gra gravestone tablet. Um, Just here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and at one point Anja just quickly stops for a second uh, Bran goes to the side you bump right into the back of her drop the stone tablet oh. boom <laughs> shh being loud against your arm <laughs> yep 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 <laughs> exactly and you hear a scuttling noise <gasps> another scuttling noise oh scuttling my noise. I draw my weapons I'm so uneasy by all this shit going on and I keep going forward can I make a perception check you can Which all make probably, a perception check it probably be like. terrible Hey, no, that was a double-digit number. How about oh. that? That's uh, 16. 16. Yeah. You hear a scuttling noise around the corner, and then it stops. All right. I'm going to try to sneak up on it. This will go well. I will try to make a stealth check. If that's what you want. If that's what you want to do. I do. I'm trying to be quiet and sneak up on it. Oh, that wasn't awful. They both double digit numbers, although one was an at 20, but that oh. doesn't count. It's disadvantage. Uh, 18. That's still a 18. It's still pretty good. All right. Roll initiative. <laughs> well, what do I see? As you turn this corner and then right at your ankle Oof. a adolescent carrion crawler. Oh, oh shit. All right. All right. Well that's a uh that's a uh, that's a nine initiative for me. Because I got right. twelve everybody else. My weapons are nine as well. <laughs> He would go first. There you go. Riley's got this going on. Okay, we got Bran. Uh, Monster. And Anja. Cleo. <laughs> Cleo rolled a, set, a nine as well. Apparently nine is the magic number. But I'm... Um, all right. Riley, you hear this kind of squelching sound coming from around the corner as uh, Anja attempts to sneak around. 
and there's a star as well as whatever sound Anja makes. Oh, uh, I say, I hope she that didn't Anja? sound like that. Was the re actually Anja? Uh, <laughs> she was around the corner. Who knows? So I don't see the enemy yet, right? Because it's around the corner. Around the corner. Mm-hmm. Um, how far away am I from the corner? I was second in line, so I'm assuming like 10, 15 feet. However close you guys were going to be. So 10 feet if you were right behind Anja. Um, 15 or 20 feet if you were behind Bran. Uh, I was second in line, so I'm going to say I was 10 feet okay. from the corner. Um, so I guess... I can move into combat this turn? Yeah, easily. All right. Then I'm going to do that. And I'm going to get in melee range, which happens very rarely. Oh, oh yes. Cool. Uh, now that I'm in melee range, I'm going to slash with my dagger. Okay. That was a 21 to hit. That'll hit. For seven damage. Very nice. Okay. Uh, with that, the carrion crawler goes next. Ooh. Let's see. Anja, you startle it, so it whips <laughs> out. Yeah, I'm not really surprised here. It actually is going to try and bite you. And so with that, we have a... 17 to hit. You miss. Oh, come on. Okay. You missed this is by where it gets one. Going. You said you missed by one point. So it was close. That's fine. Riley, you get the tentacle. Uh, that won't oh, miss. Jesus. Without a doubt, that is a, a, a 24 to hit you. Uh, go ahead and give me a, a constitution saving throw as this whip cracks and gives you five poison damage. 17 on con save. And there's this mm, stinging stiffness to your leg but it goes away rather quickly with a shake. Uh, And with that, Bran, I believe you are the next fastest. Uh, Bran will move up. Mm -hmm. See the creature. uh, Probably move slightly around it just for space wise. Mm-hmm. And then I will attack with my dagger for an action. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm going to assume an 11 does not hit. And 11 actually will hit. Oh, Adolescent okay. carrion crawler. <laughs> for four points of slashing damage or piercing. Very nice. And then, as a bonus action, I will spend a Kai point. <gasps> One of those what? you got back on the short rest? Get them all back at the short rest. <laughs> yeah. And then do the flurry of blows. So, first attack will be a 17 for. Yeah. Four points of bludgeoning damage. And then I will strike it Riley for healing hand. Oh. (laughs) Where is it? Healing hand. There we are. So I will... I'll just roll damage like normal because that's what the snow actually it's better than damage. I'm better at healing than actually hurting. For seven healing. Ooh. And a strike a pressure point. And yeah, there was that turn. redness and swelling that was calling in that area, and you strike that point and it just suddenly reduces itself and some sort of ooze actually comes out of the oh, leg. Oh, gross. And Cleo is up next. Guys, what should I do? Okay, now that's me. <laughs> <Don't> be- <laughs> Little too Cleo, bad, 
Cleo's actually been pretty good at coming up yeah. with some decent she, combat she would... strategy, man. Let's just say spiritual weapon. <laughs> yeah, that probably that would make spiritual sense. Spiritual weapon and cantrip. Yeah, yeah. I was. Uh, yeah. That is a cantrip. Uh, wait, no, spiritual no, weapon. Spiritual is weapon is not a cantrip. Bonnet. No, it's a We are going action. to do Toll the Dead first because that seems to be her favorite, and I don't like to waste her spells, which does ten damage. Jeez. Oh, it failed its save for it a change. Failed its Naturally, save for she's change. not here tonight, of and now you failed the five freaking saves. So that. Oh my. Leo, God. see, right. it does work. <laughs> and she, uh, uh, yeah, this creature has its bell rung, and we go back to Riley. It's on its last legs. Wait a minute! I don't get to go. No. No, because I don't like you. Sorry, Anja, go ahead. Can I like this kill? Thing. I want to freaking kill it. Yeah, you could. I want to kill it. You know what? I was going to pull a bonus action to friggin', you know, do the, uh, do my thingy. What, what is that thingy? Slay, just to slay, make sure. Pray, but, but no, screw that. I'm just going to make two attacks against it. Uh, oh, one's a nat 20. <laughs> the second one was nat 20. The first one would have been, it's dead, I'm sure. The first one would have been a 15. A 15 and a nat 20. 15 would have hit. Very... And the nat 20 definitely hits. Do you want to roll the damage for the fun of it? Or do you want me to just tell you Did... it's dead? You could just tell me it's dead. I oh, mean... it, it's dead. You just swing the short sword down at the head that tried to bite at you. And off it comes. And that, you know, maggoty ooze that comes out, you know, when they get stepped on or punctured. That's gross. It is gross. So um, it would have been like 18 points of damage. So I assume it had like one hit point. Two. Two. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just basically, I <laughs> dissect it. Not bisect it, dissect it. There you go. Uh, and so dead carrion on the ground, adolescent. It's not large. It's very small. Oh, no. Um, with that 10 survival check and recent tracks. This is something you've seen in the forest before. It's obviously been attracted by something down this corridor. Hey, and... you said it's a juvenile. Does that imply that mom and dad might be around for this one too? Oh, hey, we killed the kid this time instead of mom and dad. Uh, make a... Mm -hmm. You can make either a... Mm, gosh nature and you can use either your intelligence or wisdom for that you know now i'm picturing like two adult carrying craw crawlers that one is wearing an apron oh, it's... one's got a fedora hat and a pipe and they're at their house you know reading something as like there's some squirming right, individual so poisoned you know as the kids are playing and eating it mm -hmm. that'd be an 11 11 um no. this dice sucks tonight <laughs> that one doesn't usually roll that bad either. So, Aryan crawlers that. are just generally famous creatures, and they're raised by uh, uh, the Joe Pets uh, in another land. Um, it's possible that the appearance would eat a juvenile if it hangs around too long. They're very solitile creatures, very territorial. And so this would be the only one you would expect unless they were having some sort of fight or something like that. And Riley, you would know the same thing. It's a party. It's, 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 cool. It's, but um, you're saying it was possibly following something down here. It, like yeah. there's a dead Jeremiah this way. <laughs> wow, Riley. <you're> very <laughs> optimistic. No, that's so dark. <laughs> that escalated quickly. Uh, uh, let's I've go had then. Three sessions to figure out what I'm doing to Jeremiah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, what the bad guys are doing to him. Well, that means you know, he's, yeah. you know, you'd be more. It gives you time for creativity other than just outrightly killing him. You're absolutely right. And in thirty feet, you find, um, the wall has been carved smooth on the sides alcoves there are several bodies in here uh two uh, medium-sized humanoids one small humanoid uh and 
a naked Jeremiah. All of these bodies are actually naked. Uh, And you can see, despite Jeremiah being young, he is a little bit too large to fit in the alcoves, except he is missing his right arm. What? And that's the obvious thing, because it is literally oozing and dripping blood down towards the floor. I will immediately go to Jeremiah. Oh, no. And check his condition. Uh, He's lost a lot of blood. Obviously, the arm is gone. Um, If you check over his body, there's lots of cuts, scratches, scrapes, some from dragging. Give me the medicine check. Nine. From cuts and scraping, and it looks like uh, something did some bad damage to the back of his legs. And he would be lucky if he could walk again. Uh, I will immediately... I will wrap him quickly first and then check the others as well. Okay. Just to make sure he's not, you know, immediately going to die if I turn away from him for a moment. Sure. Uh, you do that. Taping up any of the blood coming out in larger areas. He is overheating. Um, even with a basic dine, you would tell that he has some sort of infection going on from here. He's been here for a while. But Cleo will come in and will actually cast a lesser restoration on him. And just from her touch on his skin, whatever fever there drops down, and he doesn't seem quite in the danger zone anymore, but he certainly isn't waking up. He's not getting any better anytime soon. You turn to look at the other, uh, and they are also in alcoves. However, uh, naked as well. They are dead. There's not a doubt in your mind, I, that they've been perished. Um, Do they look familiar in any way? (laughs) And how, do we have any idea how long they've been hanging there? Well, that one's Olo. (laughs) (laughs) no it's not that is a good idea dang it (laughs) no Uh, they are not people you recognize Uh, there are two of them uh, two humans um, judging by shape of the ear they have been dead for quite a while they are bled dry Give me those medicine checks again. Who? Bran? Uh, Bran, yes. Wow! (laughs) They are... What'd you roll? And depending eight. (laughs) Shit. If you recall the body you found on the beach that had been dried out... (laughs) Um, these look like halfway points between that body and that. It is possible they have the same infection as that body, that same illness. The third body, if you still choose to take a look at that, um, I'll take another medicine roll from there. Do you need help with this? I mean, there you go. It's got Um, got something. This guy is clearly dead, and he is uh, a gnome, male, uh, gray hair that's still on the face. Um, He has got that dried skin look as well, although a lot of that seems to be that sailor, tan, bronze-skinned, hardened skin that they just have from being bare-chested in the sun all day. However, from about mid-torso down, a lot of muscles, actually, have been 
removed from the legs. What the fuck? Does it look like it's been surgically removed or eaten off? With finesse. I mean, you can injury just look at that and say, okay, this is the biceps femoris, the semi-tendinitis, gastromesis, all peeled away, leaving everything else. Uh, even on some of his arms on one side, uh, the biceps have been removed, a bit of the deltoid here. Does it uh, look like it was done with good surgical tools or with a dull blade? With a 19, not a butcher's blade. And Riley, if you want to throw an investigation into this, you can as well. Um, you are a smart cookie after all, but not that smart. <laughs> um, it's not a blade. That would be a thin maneuver. Probably a claw. And a sharp one at that. And, you know, even thinking about it with Riley coming up to look over your shoulder. Those kind of claws would do it. So it's fairly ragged cut, but just cut surgically. Yes. Okay. I will go back to Jeremiah. Um, and... I will use my healing to bring him to one hit point. My healing feet. You do that? And he opens his eyes. You you can't have them. Ah. To my dying breath. And he's I hold him weakly down trying firmly. to fight you off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I hold him down firmly like Riley. I mean, Jeremiah. No. Jeremiah. No. Get off me. Guy Brand. Jeremiah, it's us. I kind of Can't hold his him. face still and look at him. The eyes are open. They're not seeing you. Gosh. And, and the restoration didn't help, huh? The restoration brought the fever down. So he's not in imminent danger of dying, but at this point, you have some decisions to make. I will lift him, uh, make sure he's bound. uh... Make an insight (sighs) check, Riley. Eight. Uh, he's not lucid enough to kind of tell. I mean, the sweat still in his face. He's staring at nothing in particular. And he seems to be recalling a certain event, which with not enough clarity of what's going on around him, but enough of what's going past that, you're not really certain at this point. Uh, Bran, uh, one more time, please. I will give him some water, mm-hmm. lift him up, and just look at the rest. Of we need to get him out of here quickly. Yeah, we do. I will take a quick look around to see if there's anything else of particular interest. Uh, any type of <sighs> books, material left over, cloths. Uh, trinkets, uh, carvings in the wall, um, symbolizations, anything. Yeah. You find neatly stacked and, in fact, labeled. Jeremiah is his plate armor, his great sword, and all his earthly belongings stacked neatly. Although there is shit smeared on some of it. Um, And another, you find Tag, Trey, Stargust. This is farmer's clothing. Same with Ani, Stargust. 
uh, and another gnome sized pair of pants. And that's it. Looks like they've been woven together from some vines, uh, as well as a couple of bracelet trinkets. Uh, and that is white haired gnome question mark. Um, I cast and this is magic in Aklo. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. I thought you were done. Uh, I cast detect magic. You cast detect magic. Um, you do not detect any magic. Um, there is a bit of. Uh, I mean, if you look at the items themselves, the trinket is probably what caught uh, Riley's eye. I imagine. Yeah. There is some welcomeite in the bracelets themselves. Uh, so that could be worth something. You are hauling uh, an expensive amount of uh, Wilkemite stone, so maybe the buyer wants some extra, possibly, if you think of it like that. Um, otherwise, it's just kind of various gemstones. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. I uh, That's good to know, I guess. It's just basic stuff. I have a question. Well, I take a, I'm going to go take a look at like some of the other corpses and see if there's anything weird about their bodies. I will say, like, do not touch them. Um, all right, I won't. You said they're like, disease. oh yeah, they've got the disease, right? I will say there is potential that these individuals are diseased. Um, I'm looking, I'm going to look though and see if I see anything like I mean, health scales or whatever. Is there anything weird other than about their bodies other than what you've already said? Anything weird? That's a, that's a big general statement. A little bit more specific. So if oh, you want I me did to give say, you a yes or no, I, I did or you can like, roll for something. I did say like scales. You did say you scales. Know? I mean, I don't know about the scales on them, but I mean, that's like an example of something, what I mean by something obviously weird i mean obviously i the the limbs are cut up the disease i mean and and uh were they missing arms too no um okay. they have been gutted got it okay gutted so, yeah and possibly bled out okay god um geez do i know what sort of if this is a cultist or something involved in this i guess that's the other question too mm. roll a yog sothothery uh let's see 13 and scooch it up 17 17 you do not know of any cults that do this. I mean, this looks very. Kind I mean, of, sacrificial, looks... ritualistic. Yeah, yeah. That's what this, that this has a thing. Yeah, potentially be a cult thing. It's not a cult that you've encountered or read about, as far as you know. Um, um, all right. And what about like said any like abnormal growths or anything on them? Abnormal growths. Uh, the gnome has a misshapen head. Bran can clarify that that was probably a killing blow. Right. Head trauma. Um, and by the way, guys, if you roll bad, you guys roll bad enough times. Let me just say, if you ask me a specific question, I will clarify for that no matter the roll. Do you have a specific question? You can. Ask Does me. this appear to be a laboratory or a home? Neither of those things, no. Okay. Uh, with the meticulous nature of everything, um, everything separated out per individual, you do see more space for more people or bodies. And more space for belongings. This uh, chamber itself looks like it can hold up to eight total. You have found 
four, including Jeremiah. If no one else says, or no, if, if no one else goes no. for it, I will say we should take his items. Yeah. And we should probably leave. All right. I'll he, grab. Yeah. I'll grab his stuff. And this is the second tunnel, correct? Um. This is tunnel number two. Well, this or... was the second of the last tunnel. Of the last before. three. So which yeah. one was this? This is no, no, number four in total, I think. Four, yes. Okay, so this was tunnel number four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, number five, I think, is the last one to explore. Okay. That's not happening. <laughs> not right oh, now. We we no, I, 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 I totally agree. We came out here for Jeremiah. Yeah. I, I think we should take Jeremiah back to the camp on the beach, hopefully meet back up with uh, Ken's and Aiden. Yep. see what they figured out about the Wilkemite or and the the mutineers and then um we can also treat jeremiah back there for him we're gonna have to get to the town well i mean we, have, we, we need i need medical you, you I, I know need, best yes. either way i think we should stop at the the beach yes we're uh, going to have to first yeah i'll say in game terms uh jeremiah does not have any sense of security right now. He has no level of comfort with the loss of an arm. And there's no serenity in the madness that he has found in his sickness. So he is not going to recover anytime soon without uh, a long rest in those kind of situations. Um, and yes, you guys have left. You traveled lightly to get out here so you could get out quickly. You don't have a lot of rations with you. And you left a good portion of stuff behind at your camp. We have good berries. You do have good berries. You can (laughs) eat them. You will be fine for now. Just don't keep eating them. We don't have any leftover boar, huh? That's probably back at the beach. I know. No, we should. Small amount if you brought it. Let's just go. No, let's just go. go. And I will. Bran, can you? carry a body i have a 13 strength okay uh equipment wise since i carry almost uh, so i have carry what i have 77 pounds currently on me what is my encumbered well would it be I better can carry you... 195 total uh push pull drag is 390 i can basically just hand off a bunch of my equipment to probably yasha for the time being i really for don't who? Or not yasha sorry for anja sorry i'm getting things mixed up <laughs> hey, uh, both built I know, I know. i'm getting things mixed right. up my no, apologies right. I just, no, I just not. there's my cr there's my crit roll drop hey uh brand would it be easier yes, yes yasha literally comes from crit roll appears and then carries the body for us yeah that'd be useful <laughs> wings you know sprout out brand? she flies away Bran, would it be better if you carried his gear and I carry the body? I mean, uh, I'm well, you're wearing armor. I don't know if you can carry a full person. Well, I have a strength of 17, so probably. Oh, okay. If <laughs> it works, yeah. I have no problem with that. I don't, I would assume. My whole thing was I could literally go faster than you guys. Okay, that's true. If you want to carry, if you want to carry him, that's fine. We'll just sort of wander behind. Especially, unfortunately, with an arm missing, he's probably lighter he now. is a little bit lighter he yeah. is now. Oh, that's <laughs> i know so i know it's horrible he's probably less than two he's probably less than uh 195 yeah yeah but his yeah. weight is lopsided down it's heavier on one side yeah 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 i kind of yeah. it's up to, it's up to you if you want to carry him that's fine mm. you probably have more you do no, have more strength it's true you are f- now nah, you know what you carry it all right i just had i you think that makes sense now yeah well, I've just pretty okay. much hand you most of my equipment. You know, like my medical pack, you know, de- uh, healer's kit, lantern, mess kit, all that jazz. Okay. <laughs> Cleo just leans in over to Riley. I'm not helping carrying him. Yeah. Screw that. <laughs> I need my hands free so I can take notes and throw Aldridge Blast. <laughs> oh my I have the, I'm the lowest strength in the party, so I'm not getting in on that. That's, well, that's the sad part. I could literally fight with, with while carrying him. Yeah. 
Whereas why, I can't even That's carry why him. I'm actually letting you carry him because I need my hands for my weapons if we get attacked mm-hmm. on the way back. Yeah. Sure. I mean, that's right. I mean, she could carry some of his stuff. Well, somebody's going to have to because I can't. I mean, can we just assume that we figure that out and, and skip the. <laughs> Like we we spent like five minutes on like how we're gonna carry this. Uh, well, I'm curious life. because you know he's gonna be a paladin without his plate mail or his fancy great sword. Yeah, so yeah. Just, how you guys out, Wiley. I mean, you can throw that extra arm away. He doesn't need that from the. Well, plate. I don't even think we found. Did we find the arm? No, he was talking about the plate mail. I think. All oh, right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, he's going to be like AC-11 or something, so whoever's carrying him should probably stay out of battle. It's all good. All right. Okay. And you are going to try and take his plate mail, Anja? And great sword? I guess. I mean, I'm taking all That's up to you. Crap. I mean, I can. I guess I will. I could divvy up some of my stuff between Riley and uh Yeah, and, your stuff uh, doesn't as well. weigh as much. Yeah, it's yeah. It's like here, take my medical pack. You take this. You take that. <laughs> I'm gonna find a way to hook them to my belt and such, or whatever. You have so a backpack of plate mail. Yeah, something you know, attach it to it so that I can you know use my weapons. All and right, let's go. Whoosh! Uh, you get outside of the cave, and the sun is going to be setting. In about an hour, which is about how long it'll take you to camp if you manage to get there. Pretty straightforward. If you are in a rush and you want to try and make it to town, let me know. Um, what's the plan? Where are we going? Back to camp, right? Camp, it's yeah. gotta be. Okay. Anja, go ahead and give me that survival roll. Oh, my back in the woods, by the way. You're back in the Although woods. Although that's going to probably make it either way, even without the extra plus two. Uh, that is a 19 or 21. 19 or 21, yes. Uh, you managed to get everyone out of the woods fairly quickly. Um, there are a few points where you stop at this steep incline where it drops down into jagged rocks. You manage to find the way around that without uh, too much issue. Um, At one point, you do have to veer wide, avoiding any fights unless you wanted to do that. There are boar tracks nearby, Um, possibly grown adult or possibly baby dire boars. You don't know, but avoiding that nimbly uh, you make it out quickly to the beach, orient yourself, you know which way to go. Yep. And you guys find yourself back at camp uh, about half an hour after the sun has set. Still just a hint of red in the sky. Alrighty. Um, is there anything more you can do to treat him? So uh, first off, when we get to camp, is there anybody there? Uh, there is nobody there. Is the is a is the fire out? Completely out. Alright. Uh, I I kind of like as an open instruction, just say get the fire back going. Okay. I will set Jeremiah down, mm-hmm. and uh, first thing I will do is probably mix together some medicine to ease any pain. Mm-hmm. Probably like the equivalency of a morphine. Sure. And after that, begin tending his wounds, cleaning them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you... A bit of sniffness in the body goes away as you put on this poultice to um, ease his pain. That is going to cost you uh, a a use of your med kit, Mm -hmm. if you're okay with that. Um, And we'll roll that over into as you are cleaning these wounds... Uh, there are maggots, eggs in there. Oh, already? There is... The thing had a carrion crawler after him. Ugh. And, I mean, studying by firelight, you can see, okay, yeah, you're 
teeth marks at the edge of this arm. Um, if you, a knife time has passed as you're taking detail over the body, you can give me another medicine check on him. Okay, 16. 16? Yeah, that is better. Um, there are some major cuts over some arteries, but it looks like someone has done some patchwork medicine to close those. And they are uh, specific incisions. They aren't drag your body. Oops, he cut an artery open. Let's fix him up real quick. They have been cut. They have cut been by claw up. mark again. Claw mark again. So there is tearing at the edge. Um, not as much as from the gnome's body that you've noticed. Um, you're cleaning. Yeah, you start picking off the clang flesh a little bit here or there. There's crap in some of the wounds. Um, and even as you go, you can feel his body temperature rising again. Um, and his body is sweating, pouring out. He's starting to get a fever again. Okay. Oh. All right. I will, after cleaning the wounds, I will do what is possible here to reduce the fever and any swelling in any areas. Mm -hmm. How do you want to do that? Uh, I'm assuming various disinfectants. Um, probably have someone go to the beach and get some water, some of the cool water, mm -hmm. so I can soak it, put it across his body, but keep him near the fire. Uh, while I'm doing all of this, I'm making sure I am covered up. Mm -hmm. And I will tell people to avoid touching him. Okay. Uh, who's going out to get the water? I can't, obviously. Mm -hmm. I will. In fact, I'm starting uh, the fire. In fact, I was, yeah, well, I, was th I was thinking of doing that too, but I will go get water. And actually, eventually, I'm going to want to look for uh, go look for food. Yeah, we should probably boil the water. Yes. Yeah. Roll a D100 as you go out with your bucket of water to the ocean <laughs> where don't... nothing bad has ever happened. I don't want to. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. All right. Well, that's low. So I think that's good. It's because we're right. So it's always low is good. 28. 28? Yep. This Roll is not 100. Check. I don't want to do that either. Uh, oh, that's not bad. Hey, that's a double digit number. How about that? So that's, um, I'm going to assume I'm not in a forest right now. So that is uh, 18. 18. There are eyes on you as you go and pick the bucket up. And you look up and you can see that green glow on these orbs reflecting a little bit from the firelight behind you and the sliver of moon every once in a while it goes a little bit behind some light clouds and it glows a little green too you're not alone on the beach but they don't appear to be watch or appear to be approaching I'm going to go about my business. How many do I see? With an 18? Yeah. Oh, let me get some fun dice out here. And humans or something not human? Last time you saw glowing green eyes? Yeah, not they human. We're not human. Oh, not are these the, th uh, what the hell are they called? The, uh, the sea creatures, so to speak. I can't remember the names. The you see deep ones. All Thank those you. Little deep ones. <laughs> you see uh, three of them um, near this large boulder. 
And they're watching me. And right? then it's like that's not a large boulder. That's another thing that they're just kind of hanging around. And so oh, you see a total of four of them. And they... Um, are you being obvious with your staring? Or are you just kind of like, oh, okay. No, I want to be... I want to be... Uh, as, I want, I'm, no, I'm not going to be obvious about it if I can't be. I mean... Give me a deception. I knew it. I was like, oh, I'm going to make charisma. you say you can go with charisma or you can go with stealth. They are away from you. So, you know, you don't have to have a poker face necessarily. You can just be like, all right, control the body movements, act normally. A deception something, though. All right. So I'm going to assume this type. I want to go, wait, go with a straight stealth, uh, stealth check, right? Now I'm going to assume. Check. Well, you, you said. Give me a dexterity deception check. I like oh, to mix and match. Dex to say, oh well, yeah, yeah. Then that's that's fine. Mm -hmm. I would rather take a plus four than what is it normally charisma, a plus four than it's what so I have to add three more to this roll. That's pretty good though. That's um twelve plus what is it plus four uh sixteen. Sixteen, yeah. You get the water. There's a little bit of shaking, but you manage to keep everything still, and you walk away. They have not noticed. They don't move. They don't appear to realize that you've spotted them. I get back to camp and I'll tell, tell I'll walk up to you guys. We have four deep ones. Deep ones. I assume they're deep ones. With glowing green eyes. That way. They were and watching. Cleo looks around. Where? No. No, I get, and I'll be like, I'll be, I'll be. I'll go, um, uh, they were definitely watching me, even though they didn't seem to pick up the fact that I was watching that I'd seen them. Without even looking up from Jeremiah, uh, as I take some of the water and start pouring it into one of the buckets of the mess kit and uh, boiling it, I kind of just say out, uh, out, you know, to all, to everyone else, like, have we seen any, have we seen Captain Kenza or the first mate? If not, do we have any tracks or signs of where they might have gone? Wait, oh, wait, who's gone? The captain and the first mate. They yeah, may that's... just not be back Remember, yet. Remember, you sent Captain Kenza, first yeah. mate Pasela, and Nebi after the tracks of the mutineers. Mm -hmm. uh, did you send them all the way to the town of Farzine as well? Or were they just specifically no. looking after the mutineers? The mutineers. I didn't send them to town. Oh. Now, if the mutineers get to town, that would be... Okay, so then they'd be there too, but... but you yeah. have no extra signs of of the captain. Give me perception or survival... Bran, you're busy with a body trying to keep him alive. I believe perception and survival is exactly the same. Yeah, the same bonus for me. Uh, oh, that was that's a net one. <laughs> I don't see shit. That's oh. a five because I rolled a net one. You're fine, yeah, Riley. Totally what are good. you up to? <laughs> I know um, we're not fine. We get the friggin' deep ones right over there. Mm -hmm. They didn't yeah. follow, did they? Let's see. I got the fire going. That was the first thing I did. Fire goes, yes. Um, if you look at the tracks, you don't see any. You notice the deep ones. Um, and yeah, things start getting stranger as the fire itself starts turning a dark green why in the fuck I'm did assuming we, we all come noticed that. here man you all noticed that yes what? except Anja with that nat one except Anja <laughs> who's busy yeah, no looking clue. for tracks and everything <laughs> yeah, Anja, starts turning green why Anja got some sand in her eyes where was we had a dream or, we had that dream where everything turned green yeah or I did, yeah, we know we did on the ship when 
Oh yeah, when the captain Bran will look at that sacrificed and look at everyone else. I think it may be best if we Bran the town. You see the fire turning green. You've been treating the wounds. You notice that Riley has done a few things with his hands and scraped off a piece of his tablet and flicked it into the fire. And then it started turning green. Yeah. Oh, is that what you... you fr- I'm experimenting. <sighs> are you going to tell us that? Or are we just going to... I mean, now, now, just now I am. I look over at Riley and say, Riley, now is not the time to experiment. <laughs> what else am I supposed to do? Keep watch. Make sure that him, yeah, make sure that uh, we don't get visitors to this camp. I All even right. dare say, Keep watch. cook some food. Well, actually. Oh, okay. I'll help some. with some cooking. I have some potatoes, I think. Oh, no. <laughs> Make do the roll, have, Riley. Do we have food still here, or do I have to go for uh, foraging for food? You would have some leftover food. Okay. Uh, the boar is smelling a little bit, but you know, mm-hmm. you cut through that. Uh, Riley uh, put some of that into a stew pot. The smelly stuff, as well as some of the better looking stuff. I do instruct Riley to make a thin soup, something that I can feed Jeremiah as well. Oh yeah, I'll pick out the bones. No, <laughs> I'm saving those for Henry Jones because Henry doesn't eat no meat. I might be the only person who gets that joke. Anyway, <laughs> I got an eleven on that that food prep. Yep. It's thin, it's watery. At least, you know, when you get the meat and the bones out of it. Um, and it, it'll it survive. Suffice. I mean, if you want to drink it, that's on you. But you would think that it's okay to give to your patient at the moment. All right. I will, once it's complete, you know, let it cool off and then uh, feed Jeremiah a bit. Try to keep him hydrated. What else is turning green? Did you say the sky was kind of turning green? Just the fire. The sliver <laughs> of the moon. The sliver of the moon was turning green. Light too. cloud cover would come over and it would just kind of turn a little bit green as the cloud cover went through. Nothing more than that. It would just then turn back to its normal pale light. What are you guys doing? Writing. <laughs> Because there's so much interesting shit right now. Resting a bit. We should take rest. We should rest and do it in shifts. Keeping a eye out. I will take third shift. That way I can also check on Jeremiah at that point. I'm looking at the direction that... Uh... I left those deep ones. They did not follow, correct? Give me another perception check. Uh, oh my god. I'm going to fire this die. That's enough pretty. That's enough five. Uh, no, uh, you got close to the fire and that has yeah. killed your vision. Vision. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where did that disappear off to? And through the night, all of you have this feeling that you are being watched. Mm-hmm. Every once in a while, uh, Jeremiah will break out into a fit of coughing, a bit of screaming here and there. Uh, In which case, one of you, I imagine, gets up, tries to calm him down, take care of him. And for a little while, they do. He's still sweating. He's still burning up. The water is helping. About halfway through the night, though, you're going to need to get some new water. And who would like to go out with a pail? I will do it. 
Are you sure? Um, yes. you, you can't see in the dark. Maybe I should do it. <laughs> well, yeah, but I'm also, well, wait, I, can I see in the dark? I'm a yeah, half, you're a half, half elf. elf. I mean, I'm also the meat shield of the group, so to speak. There's moonlight. Never there on, is not a on this sliver. island. So it is pretty dark. Um, I would... I probably would take the middle watch anyways because I can see in the dark and I don't mind. And I'm very, very nervous about very well those guys. Are you said and I think and I think Riley might be a bit squishy to go out. <laughs> Not you so much, Bram, but Riley may be squishy. I'll go quick. I'll help. <laughs> If we could go together, that's true. Sure. Yeah, yeah. You've you've Cleo and Bran, and then uh, you and me. Let's we'll split, split the, party. the party. Yeah. We're not going far, I assume. Yeah, we're just going to the water. Yeah. Well, you guys tucked yourselves into the trees a little bit, if you remember, yeah. because that first time. So you are exiting out of the trees. You are then walking down the beach, and then scooping up water. So you are probably. Yeah. 60 90 feet away somewhere in there i'll tell you what gonna, i'll give you an exact answer you are 84 feet away okay i'm going three to inches. um when anja goes to scoop up the water i'm gonna stay at least 10 feet away mm -hmm. from the waterfront keeping an eye out with eldridge blast prepared okay anja you can give me that disadvantage since you're scooping so, up the water yeah. You have uh, uh, Riley. Go ahead at normal perception. Mm -hmm. Oh, perception at disadvantage. Perception. Yes. All right. Well, that's only a nine. 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 All right. Nineteen. Uh, you see. <laughs> there are more than just four. Oh shit. There are two large ones. They appear to be flanking you guys, but they are out in the water a little bit. And then there are four little ones spaced out. They've spread out across the beach, and two of them are actually up on the sand a distance away from you. It appears they have moved up from the beach. And if you point out to Anja, she could confirm that. But you could potentially be letting them know that you spot them. Um. Yeah. Is this initiative yet? Because I want to sneak out of here if I can. If you want to sneak... Give me that deception check. Well, no, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. You know, act like I'm gonna hunker down and and that they've spotted or that I've spotted them. But more like sneak, as in, I want to act like everything's yeah. fine. All right, yeah. cool. The deception check. If you want to deceive Anja with this deception check, and make her think, yeah, there's nothing there, and then she can bypass her deception check. Um, yeah, or you can let her that. know and be like, act normally. No, no, no. I'm not letting her know. Um, <laughs> I mean, I already dirt, know dirt, to act normally. You know, yeah, I would, dirt, I'm dirty 20. Dirty 20. Yeah. yeah. Riley is so calm right now. Do you want to roll an insight against him just to see? No. Okay. I don't Riley know they're there, though, huh? You didn't spot them. Um, you were I'm going to hold an water. action. <laughs> I want to have an Eldritch I Blast get the prepared water. just in case. I get the water and I start heading back. I don't know they're there. And I I, uh, I uh, stay behind Seems... her. Very cautious. Uh -huh. Keep out. All right. I mean, I have my weapons and everything else with me. Yeah. I am a weapon. You are a weapon. Jeez. <laughs> You are lucky they are not not very wise. And you managed to get back to the camp with fresh water. 
boiling it, cooling it. Well, when we get back to the camp, I'm telling everyone what just happened. I'm letting Anja know. I'm like, oh, shit. There were this many of those deep ones back there. What? There were two more? Yeah. And I let her know. I uh, pretend like I didn't see them. Just like you did earlier to make sure that we could get out of there. You know, what bothers me is they, they clearly saw well they clearly saw me earlier and they left me alone and but it bothers me because the ferocity they attacked us in the first place what are they doing i don't know but we should make sure that we uh I'm so uneasy. probably find a more secure place to stay at the the town for the next night is what i, think, I would yeah say. well we have to see if we can find our crew members first and i we, mean hopefully we can, they're there we can, search, we can search for them from the safety of an inn at night well hopefully they'll be there i mean you know, yeah they were I, I, headed to town i either way i think the town we shouldn't be camping out on the beach any any longer any more nights that you is. hear the crack on oh. the beach you just snapped headed, the pencil the twig on the beach <laughs> headed this way headed towards us or just a um, it's closer than what Riley thought it was earlier. I look. Are you being stealthy about this? Or are you just looking? Um, I'm going to look too. I'm, I'm going to just look. If they're approaching our camp, I don't think there's a, there's a reason to act like we don't see them anymore. Yeah, Brand. You take that look out. Two large shapes are now on the shore. All four have started to move up, and one is looking down at a piece of driftwood it steps on, looks up. And they start speaking some language and start running in. What what, it, what are they saying? Initiative. I want to go kick Fran awake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what I was asking. Is Was I awake dealing with Jeremiah? I am assuming so. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, I. I well, don't. you know what? Give me a D one hundred. No, let's do that old game. Like you said, we was tending him. <laughs> I told you I would be a little bit more pliable tonight with, because uh, I'm tired. But you know what? Let's seventy seven. Are You're these large? Sleep. Are these larger ones? Uh, four of them are small. Two. Oh very shit! Large We're gonna ones. have all of them on us right now. So, they start running up the beach. Roll initiative, except for Bran, who is asleep right now. I no, can't kick him roll awake. Initiative. I can't kick him awake in time. <laughs> What'd you? Uh, all right. Oh, Let's good. Do this where we're gonna do. Do 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 do. Okay. Oh my god, I'm actually like scared of this combat. No, it's fine, guys. It's fine. All right. I just need to write down a few things. Ooh, a 17 and a 15. All right. And one last one for the fun of it. Ooh, okay. Wow, that's not good. Okay. Okay. Who has higher than a 26? What? I couldn't even get higher than a 26 if I rolled a 20. <laughs> I okay. have a 22. 22? Very nice. Anyone higher than a 22? No. Oh my gosh. You guys are dead. Uh, Shut okay. Up. Uh, lower than a 22. 22, 15. 16. Six- 16. 216. All right. Wow. Not bad, guys. Not bad. I suppose since this is the death of all of you. I what about Cleo? Roll for Cleo. You should roll for Cleo. And... We're gonna, you're going to need her probably. Cleo is actually uh, an 18. <laughs> so Bran and Riley. All right. Uh, let's begin killing. I mean, uh, let's go ahead and begin combat uh 
you knew they were there. Uh, they knew you were there. So, Anja, you get to act first. You peer over there and you see them start running up the beach towards you. They are anywhere between 30 and 50 feet away. Uh, 30 is close. Let's right, go third? with 50 to 70. Oh, feet come away. on. Uh, fine. I'm going to, they'll use, oh, you're going to use a bonus action. Yeah, you, you get bonus action. I'm going to, let me actually make sure I can do this. Let's see what the distance is on it. Oh, it's within 60 feet. So yeah, I could, if they're within 60 feet, I'm going to mark whatever the lead one is uh, with Slayer's Prey. Okay. And uh, I'm going to, I'm going to make a full move of 30 feet okay and i'm gonna have my weapons drawn and i don't know can i hold and i can't hold an action to like attack can i if they get with the range uh you will get one attack i only get one attack anyways so oh. i get two because i use my bonus action for my offhand this round i'd only get one attack because i'm using the bonus to target one of them with that Slayer's Prey. Okay. All right. So you get one of the uh, ones in the lead, and he is wearing this coral armor uh, with a oh. trident in one hand. Things do not look good for Anja, but yeah, she'll find that out in a little bit. Don't worry. Yeah, that coral armor, like, don't, that'd be bad to give hugs, you know, give a hug to. Uh, you hear a shrieking scream behind you, Anja. Not again! Not again! Shit. As Jeremiah. Uh, Jeremiah starts screaming, twitching in his sleep. Uh, that's pretty much all he does at the moment. Cleo, uh, I should probably have her character sheet up, huh? Yeah. Because things are going to get bad for you. Things are going to be real bad. You know what? She's cool. She is going to twin a uh, cantrip, that uh, famous, wonderful uh, Toll the Dead. And it's just a 13 and a Ten. Okay. One doesn't of them that, saves. Does that enemy need to be injured for told the no, dead? It, no. It just does less damage if they're if they're not injured. So right. oh, okay. they hit the first one would hit, it'd be less damage. The second one would hit if uh, it'd be more damage. Uh, and the larger of the two where this bell rings shakes its head back as it takes the full eight damage from it. The other one nice. charges forward nonetheless. And that gives us to the four little ones. And they start running up the beach. Uh, Anja, if you want to take a swing as the one of the smaller but better dressed fellows comes swinging at you with the trident. All right, is it one of the ones, is the one I marked or no? It is the one you marked. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, 12, uh, 18? 18 hits. Yeah, okay. So that's with the scimitar. So, and I've got the slave's prey, so it's 2d6. Dang it. Right. So that's 5 plus 4 is 9 points of damage. 9 points hmm. of damage. All right. Let's see, 9 points of damage. Good job. I mean, it's not going to matter for much longer, but great job. Uh, <laughs> Booster Jeez, Gold here thanks, rolled me man. a 14 on a die, so 19 to hit you. Uh, oh, yeah. You made my one. You've been hovering right around my AC. <laughs> he jabs at you with the trident, and the tines just go past your arms where he was trying to stab you but it knocks you off just enough as it reaches out and takes a bite with its jaw. That is seven points of damage. Oh, you dick. And the other one that it was next to it, Booster, go! 
Uh, 14 is not going to hit you. Nope. A natural 20 will. <laughs> uh, let's That'll go make with up for the, the miss. Claws. This is bad, guys. And that is going to be 10 points of damage as it too tries to take a bite out of you, misses because it's other guys in the way, and instead rakes its claw uh, along your chest piece. Uh, the other two run right up into camp. Uh, the two big ones are lumbering slowly out of the water. One of them proceeds to pick up a rock and is reaching its arm back, getting ready to throw it. Uh, with that, uh... oh, I apologize. They went out of order. Um, that's what they'll do next time. After Bran, who give me a perception roll at disadvantage. As you lay sleeping there. I meant to... Uh, thinking it was a free action, huh? Jeremiah's scream. You know, you have been tense all night. Uh, you're not really getting a good rest out here with the conditions you're in and with you getting woken up every 15 minutes to maybe tend over to uh, Jeremiah. You've just been ears perked up listening for that sound. And you are up and awake. In the firelight are two green glowing eyes, scales, those dorsal fins, um, claws, and uh, a pair of tridents in each hand standing right at the edge of the campfire. So I will stand as a half my movement. Mm -hmm. um, and you could reach either one of them. They kind of mm -hmm. group up. I'm going to Yeah, I'll move to the one to the right and first attack with my dagger. Okay. Thirteen to hit. Does not hit. Uh, I will then use a. I'll just use a bonus action to attack again. This time with uh, unarmed strike. Okay. Uh, that'll be a twenty-two. That'll hit. Or seven points of bludgeoning damage. Seven points of bludgeoning damage. Awesome. Yeah, you're not dead, guys. Don't worry about it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Riley, what you doing, man? Um, I think I'm still back in the camp, probably mm -hmm. closer to Bran. Um, yeah, so I'm going to Eldridge Blast the one that Bran just hit with okay. Unarmed Strike. That is a 23 to hit. That'll hit. For four damage. All right. Not bad, guys. Uh, and with that, Anja, now you see the two lumbering big ones coming right. up the beach, picking up the rock, getting ready to throw. And we are back to you. You right. have Chloe. two around you. All right. Uh, about Cleo? Chloe, uh, Cleo yeah. already went. Oh, she did? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right. The bell. That's right. Um, what types... Just so curious, what, I mean, because we've been around them. What types of creatures are these? What types of creatures are these? Yeah. Uh, is this part of your fancy ability to cheat and uh, uh, find out all the secret information uh, about these characters? It's not that. It's whether or not protection from evil and good will work. It's aberration, celestials, elementals, fate, beings, and undead. I know they're not undead. I don't know what they qualify as. Carol doesn't know. You know, as a uh, action, you can use your hunter's sense. Yeah, and as an and that means I can't use that. <laughs> I have no idea. Because that would help if it friggin' works. 
I, I can't blow action, so I got two things like like in front of me other than to cast that, and I can't afford to can't afford to do it. Um, <laughs> uh, give me the uh, good old I'm, intelligence nature check. I sh- I'll be nice. Uh, all right, all right. I mean, the only one is a type there. Uh, that's not bad. That's uh, sixteen. They are clearly touched by aberrations, but they yeah. are not of it themselves. I don't know if that means a spell would work or not. Um, well, they are touched, but they are not. Of they are it. not. Yeah, so it wouldn't work. Um, I'm glad I didn't waste it. Uh, bonus. Yeah, I'm going to do bonus action to cast Hunter's Mark. And I'm going to do it on the same guy I've got the play the the slayer's prey on. Mm-hmm. I can do more damage. Go for it. Next thing I can next round I can just start wailing away. Uh, that's going to hit. That's a twenty dirty twenty. That'll hit. Actually, that's yeah. Now that's three d six. Where is all the good stuff here? Not bad. That's eleven plus. Uh, plus four is 15 points of damage. Woo! Way to go. Uh, I'm certainly not saying all these nice things because because of any any guilt I feel over what's about to happen to you. 15, yeah, no you said? Shit. 15 points of damage. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I suggest if uh, if the, if if uh, Coolio could you know do some healing, that would be probably useful. Hmm. Well, do you tell her that? She can't tell from me for probably going ow when the friggin' thing hit your know, last round. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm sure, she... that hurt. Oh my goodness! Don't be such a pansy. What do you think she is? A heal bot? <laughs> What do we got here? All right. Let's roll the D100 for this. Oh, no. Oh, it's fine. It's not. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, She has a idea thinks better on it runs out to join you splayed hands fire shoots out right into the faces as well as your own what did she hit me too she's not hitting you i'm just being mean a dick (laughs) that's because you're kyle absolutely um and their stiff joints and there's this crackling steam. Someone roll me uh, 46 fire damage, please. I can. I got 46 murder hobo dice right here. Don't roll I one. Five. Yeah, exactly. No, usually they don't roll ones, actually. They're usually pretty good. Uh, well, I got a six. I ain't got a one. Six and six is 12 and two is 14. 14 total? Yep. Yeah, so she lights these guys up, and they're just a little stiff-jointed. They can't get out of the way. Holy crap, you guys really took down that one fast. Um, Was that the one they had all the effects on? uh, The one that you've been hitting? Yes. Um, (laughs) And there is a crispy smell of fried fish. By the way, I'm glad you rolled that, because I... Rolled three ones and <laughs> yes. All right, but with that, it is their turn. Recovering from the fire, the first one swings at Cleo, misses. The other one rolls a nat one. Gosh, thank God for that. The next one towards you is a miss, uh, and a that is a eighteen to hit. With another bite. With me? Against you. Jerk. That hits me exact. Meets, was it? Meets, beats. 
meets beats. Meets beats. Uh, and that is four piercing damage. Okay, shoot. As it claws scrape along your armor, catch a little bit of oh. your arm. Uh, and we are down to Bran and... Oh no, sorry. All the little ones go, which means against you, Bran. We have a... That's a five on the die. That's a seven. Where is Booster Gold? I want to murder Booster Gold. That is <laughs> a 16 to hit. That'll miss. Oh, jeez. And that is 16 on the die, so I think that will hit you this time. You are ducking, weaving between blows, and finally one of them just gets in your personal space. And doesn't bite you. Huh? Hmm? Anyway, uh, Bran, that is uh, your turn now. I will kind of look at it for a moment. And then I'll strike the one that I've been still hitting. Was it the one that was still hitting? Or the, the other one? The one that you were hitting is the one who paused for half a second. And I will give you advantage if you decide to take its hesitancy to just knock it in the face real good. <laughs> if you want it, that's up to you. Uh, you. Well, I roll a 20 on my dagger. All right. That definitely hits. For six points. Okay. Does that take it down or is it still up? Still up. Okay. Uh, I will bonus action unarmed strike it then. Mm-hmm. 16. That'll hit. For five bludgeoning. Good. And that's my action. All right, Riley. Uh, yeah, that same one that keeps getting hurt. I'm going to Eldridge blast it. Go for it. And that was a 24 to hit. That'll and hit. five nice. damage. How much? Five. Five. All right, good. Okay. And I did Cleo already, correct? Or did I? Yep. Yeah, you did. Ah, the fire. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, and with that, it's a very we've good got attack. the two big ones. And one of them takes <sighs> its boulder and chucks it right over at Cleo. Come on, big blue, don't oh, fail me now. Come on, don't do that. Oh, that's a 10 on the die. And that's a plus five to hit. As this boulder does. Yeah, not the best damage here. That is eight damage to Cleo. The other one whips. A piece of driftwood at you. That's 23 to hit. Do you think that'll hit, Anja? Who, me? Yeah. Uh, no, that's too high. That's that's too high? Yeah, uh, you have to roll, you roll five too high. You know? oh, Did you have oh. to just roll an 18? Man, don't you hate it when you roll high? I mean, I got 23, and then I got a murder hobo ink. Oh, crap. And a four you're on take, the die. You're going to so take that me that is up. 13. I'm down. And you are Jesus down. Anja, make a death saving throw. God damn it. I'm going to... You know, I, you know, you think with 18 armor class and 30 hit points, it'd be enough. Uh, shit, I don't make it because that's a nine. Oh, wait, you add anything to that? Your Is it just a flat roll, right? Just yeah, it's just a flat, flat roll. roll. Yeah, that's a failure. You have one... Failed death saving throw. Cleo is. Screw you, Frank. I can see his (laughs) chat. (laughs) Is going to twin a Toll the Dead and try and get these two who are right up in your face. They both fail. That's why I don't roll booster or anything that isn't booster gold anymore. That's it. We're killing you tonight. That's when it happens. A max of 12 on one. Did I say that I was going to do the same amount, one die damage for everything, or was I rolling separately? Uh, 
Uh, I'm cool with them both having 12 I, damage. I don't, I don't care. You don't care? I, don't I have a question, care. Kyle. I have a question, Kyle. Yeah. Uh, the one that she burned uh, that Anja was hitting, was that one dead or was that one still alive? That one is still alive. All right. Okay. All right. I don't like you people, so we'll give it a 12. Uh, <coughs> 19. All right. And with that, we come down to the four little ones. Ooh. Do I kill Anja on the spot? Do, yeah, do, you do, can. Do. No, I'm kidding. Let me see, because I think she has healing word. Oh, she doesn't have healing She's word. She's standing right by me, isn't she? She is. Oh, does she have... Which one did she go with? She had to have something. She did have to go... She has twinned and transmuted. Mm. I will take the damage back if you want to be healed. That's yeah, up, let's roll that D100. That's up to you. Your planner, you 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 do the strategy for her. Okay. We will take that back. Go ahead and take because you're screwed anyway. Oh, I'm I know. Okay, one and oh, that's what I don't like about that one. 12 plus 5 17 hit points back oh, as wow. she gives you really uh, cure good. wounds at second level and uses her last last second level spot and then she does some meta magic stuff don't worry about it guys okay with that now we have the four little ones they roll one of them hits Cleo and the other misses. Jeez. Okay. She takes more damage. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no. She's uh, she's about dead. And then with you two guys over there, one of them splits off to go after Riley. If you want to take an attack of opportunity, Bran, you may do so. He yes. is the uninjured one. Um, I'm going to try to trip him. Go ahead. So uh, am I just rolling? So I have to roll to attack, right? That is athletics, just athletics. Uh, versus his acrobatics or athletics. That's going to be 17. 17? I'm learning from our old lady. Dang it. <laughs> I'm pissed. He trips, lands on his face, mouth full of sand. Nicely done. I'm glad to see you did it to them instead of the other way around. Roll me a D100. And I'm going to start swinging at you with the other guy here. Uh, 49. 49. He lands just far enough away that he can't attack Jeremiah. Which is what I was going to have him do for <laughs> tripping me. <laughs> Dick! Uh, one of these does hit you with a 23 though. And that Fight again comes down, and this one, uh, no hesitation, does seven points of damage. Okay. All right. And with that, we are at Bran, your turn. I will. <sighs> I'm going to unarm strike with my action. Mm hmm. Nat 20. That and I will be using Harming Hand on him. So I'm going to use a yeah. key point. All right. So, five points for the normal attack because I rolled two ones. <laughs> yeah. And then the Harming Hand will do... Oh, come on. So another five for a total of ten. The weakest I could possibly do. Oh my god. 
Why do my dice hate us so much? You go three out ones, three ones in a row. Strike with that uh, necrotic fist, and it's that again that feeling leaving you this overpowering urge to maybe just kind of turn and kill Jeremiah <gasps> or Riley. And you shake that feeling off and you shove it right into this deep one in front of you. And teeth fall out as this black energy corrupts it further and it falls dead at your feet. And of course you have the rest of your turn. Yeah. Uh, I will strike the one on the ground with a Advantage, I'm assuming, since he's is he still on the ground? Yep. Still on the ground. With a bonus action, so that's 17. And a nat 20 again. Bullshit. All right, go ahead. Yes. <laughs> well, that's a lot better. So nine. I give him the people's elbow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, see, I you heard it. He went on the ground well. prone now. All right. <laughs> Our dice can actually elbow. roll well once in a while. Okay. Uh, and with that, Riley, you are up. Uh, <laughs> one of them is dead. The big ones are lumbering closer in the distance. Um, I could say you would see An Anja, Anja fall down. Anja. Uh, uh, and get woken up by Cleo. Uh, and then, of course, the prone one that got the people's elbow just now. Yeah, let's uh let's get the prone one. Okay, that is at disadvantage. Why is it at disadvantage? Because it's prone. Because it's prone. Oh, and I get disadvantage on uh using Eldridge Blast. Because mm. it's ranged. Because I'm that dick DM who knows the rules. <laughs> Darn. So does a twelve hit? <laughs> twelve misses, man. Damn it! <laughs> Darn. Crap. All right. And the big ones start lumbering forward and they are in range now and one of them swoops down at Cleo. God dang it. Nope, that misses. And Why don't you one, roll those crappy rollos against there's me? There's that 16 to hit. All right, there we go. And that is, there we go. That is a 13 and she is down at zero. What? It just takes one swing. Cleo ducks underneath it. Dress catches in the sand and with the other hand just BAM! And the other one continues lumbering up the camp towards the fire picking up some more driftwood as it goes and it flings it in odds evens. Riley's direction. Riley does a 19 on the die, 24 hit you. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Just double checking. That is going to be 11 damage as this piece of driftwood comes swinging out of the darkness at you. All righty. That sucks. And Anja, you are prone on the ground next to uh, oh. poor, poor Cleo can't do much to help her i mean i can't and at just, minimum but what we got what what do we get above us now just one big one you've got one big one and you've got two little ones one of them is wearing that oh, coral for armor fuck sakes you still have well i'm in trouble yeah, you don't have any of the bonuses against him anymore no 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 i mean i'll get obviously my move action will be to oh god i have to recover all my shit too how does that? How many actions is it to have to grab my swords and get up? How many actions is that? That's one move action. It's one move action. After okay, movement great. speed to just right. kind of get up, and kneel, then... grab up. Uh, I'm gonna drop. Oh, Jesus Christ! Slayers prey on the big guy. I'm gonna okay. attack. Uh, well, that should hit though. Twenty. That'll hit. Come on. 
Oh, I know why. <laughs> I have to scroll up. Ah, nine plus four is 13 points. Okay, good hit. And I think that's, oh, I get a, oh, no, I did my bonus. That's it. That's all my actions. <laughs> yeah, we're Cleo makes her death save. Now let's not use uh, booster gold on this guy. I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that. Gosh. All right. And she makes one success. All right. With that, we are down to Coral King and the other one make their swipes at you. Can you roll badly? Eight on the die, six on the die. Oh, gold. Nice. Fuck Booster Gold. That is a 13, 18 to hit you. Fuck you. Ah! And a natural one. You take the trident, <laughs> which if I remember when it was young in December. Wait, what? <whistles> oh gosh, I shouldn't have been spinning so much. All right, one d8 and that is going to be five points of damage to you you're getting okay. out lucky here uh, you have one right next to you bran uh both of you are prone from the people's elbow <laughs> i don't know i would have used half my movement to get back up afterwards <laughs> dang it god damn it we All need right. your brand 15 on the die <laughs> 19 on the die. 20 to hit you on the first one. Yep. Oh, All right. shit. You're going to teach you. 16. Teach 17. 21 to hit you on the second one. Yes. So that wait, wait. Is... How much damage? No, no. Oh, those are the Sorry, hits. I'm rolling first. So okay. it proceeds. It claws at your ankles for nine damage on the first one. And then it reaches out after it did that goes in for a bite for 11 damage. Are you up? Barely. Shit. Well, at but least you, you can heal yourself, at least. It's your turn now. Yeah. Uh, how close is he to the fire? <laughs> uh, at least 10 feet yeah. fine I'm just gonna attack him I have no choice uh, he stayed prone so yeah so that'll be a 14 to hit that'll hit this is the dagger mm -hmm. for seven piercing. Okay. Bonus action, unarmed strike. Oh, that'll be a 21 unless those. No, nah, that's not a crit. So 21 to hit for four points of bludgeoning as I roll another one on the die. All right. Still and there. Still there, huh? I can't. I can't. I have to get rid of him first. You can't get right. yourself. I have one Kai point left. <laughs> Riley, what are you doing? You're muted. Um. There we go. Uh, so the dude's standing this time, right? He is still prone, attacking Bran. However, how, how far see... is he? Uh, he's about fifteen feet. So I can move up and attack with my dagger. You can move up and attack. And you'll have advantage. Dagger. And you'll have advantage. Okay. All right. All right. That's what I'm going to do then. Okay. So let's see. Does a 22 hit? Uh, it definitely hits better than that nine you rolled after it. All right. Uh, I did four damage with my dagger. All right. Yeah, He's about halfway there now. Oh, my oh, God. Geez. What the fuck? And the big ones lumber in. One of them goes for you, Anja. I can't afford to go that down. That is a 
19 on the die. Jesus Christ. You're gonna, you're gonna, yeah. Oh, I knew we were fucked at this battle. You take six damage, and the second one swings at poor little Cleo. What? No. (laughs) And hits. You kill her. Bringing her to two. No. Failed death saving throws. No, that's it's a critical if you hit her when she's unconscious and that's two failures. That was two failures. So you kill she her. She has one success. Two oh, it's failures. right. I forgot she succeeded. You failed. I'm the one that failed. I'm mm-hmm. like, oh shit, you're going to kill her because she failed. No, she didn't fail. I mm-hmm. failed. That failure is gone. That failure is gone for now. <laughs> but one well, more failure and she's permadead. And one, she's permadead. When's her turn? It's next? Uh, no, it's on just next. Oh. But you have your own big guy to worry about as he comes lumbering out of the dark, gives a swing over at Bran. Oh, there was only two big ones. Yeah, one's with us. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. but the first big one went after Anja. No, it, yeah, the first one, one went, went, went after Anja. Anja one went, went to the camp. To mm-hmm. That's the one that threw the driftwood at you. So which one hit Cleo? The first one. The, the first, first one. Oh, so attacks. the first one had two attacks. The yep. first ta- attack hit Anja, the second attack. Yep. Oh, I thought that was two nope. big ones, not two different attacks nope. from the same one. Got it. No. You get any healing, use it. I have a question. I mean, I, I'm too far mm-hmm. away. No, I mean brand. on Bran. It's got to go down. I know a 13 doesn't hit you, Bran. Oh. But does a 17 hit you, Riley? Yes. Shit. <laughs> Damn it. Big claw swings out. Uh, not as much damage as I always like. Uh, and you take uh, <laughs> that is nine points of damage. All right. Anja, you are up. Fuck. I can't cast a spell or it's, uh, it's, uh, it's an attack of opportunity, right? This is not Pathfinder. It's 5e. I thought there was, thought that was a... a spell, Carol. All right, all right. That's always good. That could be. All right. I hate not hitting him, but I got to do it. I got to cast Goodberry, and I'm going to force feed her. I, you know, I'm going to roll randomly because it's like I'm just basically shoving it in her mouth. Now, if I was a mean DM, I would say, when did you find those berries to turn into good berries? I just carry some in my pocket. Oh. How, what condition are those in? It's a magic freaking spell. Actually, I don't think that's how it works. You need berries, actually. Yeah, Wait, no. Just, uh, we, actually, you may are just you make sure? Them. No, you up to that. ten berries appear <laughs> in your hand. Yeah, no, she's right. All I right. need a sprig of mistletoe, which you don't eat. So I go, oh, the boom. mistletoe has berries on it. Yeah, but you don't eat those. Go ahead. And I shove it in her mouth. Mm-hmm. All right, so up to 10. So I'm going to roll a d10 to see how many she gets because I'm not being... Come on. All right, she gets six of them. So she's at six Ooh. hit points. Six hit <laughs> berries? Yep. Okay, I got to so do some rolling standard here. standard action. Okay. Yeah, you shoved a bunch of magical food in her mouth. Does she, she can't say, can she friggin' can she and friggin' up swallow? She it? comes. Okay. She wakes up. Light changes. There you go. Let me see. What have I get? Do I get a bonus? I could do something with. Uh, uh I don't, I don't really have a bonus because I didn't attack, so uh, I'm fucked. All right. Um, and I'll be like, heal! You gotta heal us or something! I don't know if she's got a channel, but that would be really good right now. And I think that's all I can do. Okay. You hear cries coming from the woods behind you and arrows and spears come flinging out 
jabbing into the giant one in front of you, Bran, and uh, Riley. Literally five large spears sprout in the chest of this thing. <laughs> and with a Xena warrior princess cries, this dark, olive-skinned woman comes flying out of the knife, leaves sticks in her armor, and she makes a few cuts and let me see your big one falls and more figures coming out of the woods and the deep one in charge calls for a retreat um The one on the ground gets up to try and run. If you two would like to make the opportunity attacks, you may do so. Anja, you may indeed as well. Better believe it. I think I put Slayer's Prey on that one too. Uh, I I rolled a 19. He He was prone to stand up, so I'll give you both advantage if you like. That'll hit. That'll hit. Yeah. Ooh. For seven. Good. Ten. Ten damage? Yep. You slice off part of the hand of this coral one. And it gives you a devil's glare before it turns back into the water as more arrows Damn sprout it. on the beach. I wanted to you kill- guys kill your deep one who was prone. And next to one of the large ones, uh, it falls, uh, and the rest proceed to go into the water and make a swift retreat. And just as quickly as she draws out this large sword from the giant deep one, it immediately swings over to you. Are you the rest of the mutineers from Captain Kenza's ship? Who is she talking to? To Riley, uh, who is she's holding a sword point to. And with that, we end tonight's show a little long. I knew it. But that's where we're going to end. Oh, Lord. I knew you had had a feeling you had to have something up your sleeve because that seemed like an awfully tough fight. Don't make assumptions, Carol. This is make assumptions. That was Uh, fun. I was seeing how long that was taking, and uh, I've made several dice throws for that. But that secret's behind the DM screen. Guys, I did not go through the rigmarole earlier today, so if you stayed to watch, I will give it to you right now. You can follow us on Twitch. You can follow us on Twitter. If you have questions for us, you can hit us up at the Discord page. If you want to join next week, that's our open one-shot session. Hit us up at mhoboinc at gmail.com or on the Twitter. If you want to buy (laughs) some cool stuff, uh, one day Anja will create some awesome cred stuff. Uh, perhaps it will be a deep one who is missing part of its hand. I am looking for no, the three thing of deep no, one. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's almost done. It's almost, it's almost done. done. I uh, made okay. good progress okay. on it not too long ago. Okay. Still busy uh, as fuck, though. With that, if you want to buy some cool merchandise, do it at the store. If you want to listen to our podcast instead, you can find the link somewhere down here below. Uh, we'd like to thank the artist D for making some awesome character portraits uh and finally our wonderful sponsors pirate dog dice for when your dice roll like these guys we we really have to special order you some weighted dice so you know a little bit better guys this is i i didn't do bad in that combat though it just there was so many things Mm -hmm. you did really well though in this combat i did not anyway uh and then finally is your game a little fishy smelling should it be odd fish games they have adventure scents that can either cover up that fish smell or accentuate it with some putrid sewers uh that is Adventure Sense over at Oddfish Games. Also check out their How to RPG with Your Cat. Finally, don't forget about Murder HoboCon 
uh, the greatest con ever pulled against cancer, Murder Hobo Con. I'm getting strange looks, so I will just assume I'm saying something wrong and not apologize no. for it. Uh, we're going to get cancer. Uh, finally, after that, guys, wave to the camera, say goodnight. We're only 25 minutes. That's four finalists. 